What up boys and welcome back to another video. So in today's video we're gonna talk about something that will make a lot of furious gold goblins mad. It's how they make a fortune of gold. Well it's just one of the ways of how they make fortunes of gold but it's extremely time consuming in order to do so. It, you gotta look at it as like a time investment to print well print gold a lot of gold in the future. So we're going to be talking about the Molten Front uh, quest line that you have to do to unlock certain patterns or plans that will make you fortunes of gold. So if you guys aren't aware of this, stay tuned for this video. And if you want more ways similar to this and also including this, then you should definitely look into uh, grabbing a copy of the Zero to 10 Million Gold Guide. It had pretty much is a step-by-step -step guide on how to start out with Zero Gold and move all the way to 10 million gold. So use the code SHADOWLANDS and you will get it for 50% off. And the link to that is down below in the comment section and description. And then also, even as a, like a full detailed uh, crafting uh, like a setup that a viewer of mine and a moderator ESO made that will teach you how to make millions of gold doing literally no farming at all. You just got to set up your crafting tunes and you will passively, uh, well, I say passively, but you do have to recraft stuff and so on. But there's no farming involved. You just get all the best patterns and plants, constantly craft those, recraft them as they sell, and you don't have to like do a single second of farming once it's set up. So all of that is included in the Zero the 10 Million Gold Guide. But what we're going to be talking about today is, as I said, the Molten Front. And you want to be able to buy these uh, plants from this dude right here. The Damek Bloombeard. The only problem is you won't have access to buy these unless you've spent like 21 to 23 days unlocking it. It's insane. I mean, you got to do daily quests for like three weeks in order to unlock this. And that's why people make so much gold with it because nobody else can be arsed to do so, right? So down below, I'm going to link like a full, uh, a detailed uh, wowhead guide on how to uh, like do the Molten Front quest, like how to start the quest and uh, how many dailies there is and where you do the dailies and all of it. Basically everything you need in order to unlock this NPC that will sell you these plants. And the only thing that you do have to note is that it tells you that it takes 29 days in order to uh, basically fully unlock it. Uh, but that's wrong because according to the guide you will get like they explained down in the comments somewhere that yeah that you do actually get 29 marks per day at some point rather than 26 like the wowhead guide is suggesting so it doesn't take the uh the full 29 days as uh it says right up here instead it takes like 21 or 23 i can't exactly remember how many days but it's like 21 to 23 days in order to do this so this will be linked down below and uh, i'm going to show you some examples so you do need blacksmithing to take full advantage of this there is plans uh, for other professions as well most people have a tune with engineering as well as blacksmithing where they do this uh like where they do uh, unlock the molten front that way they can get the schematics as well as the plants but i just have a uh, blacksmithing on this tune so far and i will get engineering on it because i have it unlocked but there's mainly going to be uh going to be blacksmithing uh plants and i'm going to show you some examples like for instance if we sort this by cataclysm because that's what it, what it is and go at weapons we can look at for instance the witch hunter's harvester like this one is insane it costs you on my realm roughly fifteen thousand gold to craft and you will gain roughly the same in profit so you will literally double your gold if you craft this one and then we can look at the the spell ward for instance fourteen thousand gold to craft and it's you will make twenty eight thousand gold profit i mean it's insane it just keeps on going like this with every single weapon that you can craft from uh the molten front and to the people that are skeptic i guess they haven't really done transmog crafting before because this is literally how it works people are willing to buy transmogs for forty thousand gold that's going to cost ten thousand gold to craft they do it every single day 
And if you guys have watched me for a long time, you've seen my mailbox Monday cleanouts on retail where I sell these items uh, daily. So it's no biggie. Uh, and if you don't believe me, ask anybody else of the big goblins that are doing crafting. It, it's really a gold mine, specifically this one right here, because it's time gated behind all of these daily quests. So people can't be arsed doing it. So pretty much if you don't have blacksmithing, it doesn't cost you that much gold to level up Kata Blacksmithing. It really, really doesn't. Get it on an alt and then uh, head over to Mount Hydral and start the quest line. Do the daily quest. The daily quests are really, really short. People just can't be arsed to do them because, well, they're a daily quest. Do the daily quest for like three weeks. Unlock this. Invest your gold into the materials to craft these weapons. And I can promise you, you will make a fortune. But that was pretty much it for this video. So if you guys like this sort of video and you want me to make similar videos to this one, please let me know down below in the comment section. Make sure to like the video. It really helps out me and my channel. And of course, for the quick guide, uh, the full guide, make sure to check out the 0 to 10 million gold guide. The link to that will be posted down below along with the Wowhead uh, daily quest guide. But that's it for now. So we'll see you all back in on tomorrow's video. But until then... Bye-bye.